Right now it's six, a University City woman recalling the terrifying moments a dog attacked her and her mother. Both were sent to the hospital with serious injuries here. Thanks for joining us on the news here at six. I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Vanessa Rufus. This happened near Mallard Glen Drive and Mallard Highlands Drive. That's near the I-85 interchange. One of the people injured now sharing her story only with our Lexi Wilson. The victim says her life was turned upside down when her and her mother were mauled by two dogs. She says it could have been worse and she's grateful they're alive. For Han Yang Yeyodi, her physical injuries will eventually heal, but her emotional scars may never. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yodi says every day her mother goes for a walk here in this university neighborhood. But that daily routine was turned into a nightmare when she was attacked by two canine Cane Corso mixed dogs. She said to me, I am dying. The dogs are biting me and I, I've tried to fight and I can't no more. I heard the dogs growling and eating at her. According to CMPD, the owner was walking her two dogs on leash when they got free, attacking Yodi's mother near these apartments. A short time later, Yodi arrived and tried to intervene and was also attacked. And I was scared because I was trying to get my mom. The dogs immediately started attacking me. They ate at my legs, all through my legs, all through here. They ate at my arm. I can't move. She was afraid they'd be left for dead. What do you hope happens to the owner? I, I want them to be held accountable. But as her mother remains in the ICU with both legs torn to pieces, she's thankful to everyone who tried to help. The neighborhood really came together to save me and my mom's life. What they did was they saved us. And experts say if a dog on the loose approaches you, don't scream, don't look in its eyes, and don't run. That's the most important one. Now, so far in this case, there have been no charges. Reporting in University for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.